So talking about the setup of the bass, I mean, there are, I'm going to tell you how I usually set up my basses for solo playing and for orchestra, it could be a little bit higher than the, the height of the strings uh, uh, measured at the end of the fingerboard. I, I think that the round of the fingerboard should sort of follow the round of the, of the bridge for what we said before, so that the action from one string to the other is not going to be very different for all the reasons that I said before or the fact that the bow should should touch uh, uh, the, the string on, on uh, the, the field of vibration it should be not against the fingerboard so to avoid noises on a, so the, the, this bass is set up very well and I think that would uh, maybe the fingerboard could be a little bit more curved towards the, the low strings, but just a tiny bit to, to, to give a little bit more space to third and fourth string. Uh, the setup I usually, with this system, the height of the strings at the end of the fingerboard, so my basses are usually in orchestra, they might start with six millimeters on the first string and uh, sort of six, uh, then a little 6.5, uh, 7 and maybe eight on a fourth string, but we are already talking of a good set uh, orchestral setup because if we are okay with the bow, if we don't make too many mistakes with, uh, with the bow, that's, that height is already enough to, to, to be able to play very loud orchestral excerpts, you know. For solo playing nowadays with uh, new strings and uh, and uh, good set uh, setups of the bass uh, or the fingerboard, you can go as far, I think, even on first string, even on four millimeters, if you are really careful. Sort of to have a four, but I mean, maximum I would say five millimeters, but maybe four, uh, four and a half, five, six, or or sort of four and a half of the first string up to six and a half, seven, the fourth string, because we want always to be able, when we play solo, we often need to go on transversal position. So, uh, uh, so if we have got third and fourth string to too different from the the, uh, the first and the second, when we go and make transversal positions, that will create a shock to the left hand and, and, and result in an unclear uh, type of performance. For example, let's see what, what I see. Yeah. Many times in the back street, you can, you, you, you go, uh, I try, let's see if it... Remembering this, uh, the current of the second back suite, you see how many times I went in third and fourth string. You see, suppose I had a third string very high, I couldn't do that. And that's just an example, eh? forgive me, it's not perfect, but just what I remembered, you know, to show the point of it. And um, that's, uh, that's, I think, uh, as a setup of the bass, we said quite a few.